لا إله إلا الله لا معبود إلا هو محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا الله لا معبود إلا هو محمد رسول الله بسمك اللهم ربي لا إله إلا الله الله يا غافر الذنب لا إله إلا الله أنت يا قابل التوب لا إله إلا الله أصلح لنا كل كرب ما ليس لنا سواه محمد رسول الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ونبينا مولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم My dear brothers, sisters and youngsters We are here talking about Allah Our creator, our sustainer, our cherisher, our nourisher The almighty, the one who gave us life The one who is going to cause us to die The one who have a power over everything the one who nothing can be done without his order. Nothing can be done without his knowledge. Nothing will be done without his permission. No one is permitted to do anything. No one is given a power to do, to do anything. Everything is on his hand and he uses the way he wants my dear brothers Allah his tawheed is 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 the base is the fundamentals of our life if we understand who is Allah because Allah himself is turning to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and saying wa'lam annahu la ilaha illa Allah واستغفر لذنبك واعلم علم قبل العمل قول والعمل علم قبل القول والعمل my dear brothers علم is before any word any 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 word coming from our mouth and before we do any action we should have to have a knowledge about what we say and about what we're doing. As we said in the beginning of this Tawheed book, very important book, as we said, uh, we are, an uh, ibadah that we are created for is to say everything that pleases Allah and to do everything that pleases Allah. So without knowing what pleases Allah, we should not speak. That's why wa'lam. That's why Allah is saying to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, wa'lam annahu la ilaha illallah. By having a knowledge about Allah, by knowing about Allah, then we can live our life. We can live to the straight life, to the straight path. Otherwise, we'll get astray. So, wa'lam annahu la ilaha illallah. This is why this sheikh is question after question. He's trying to make us know about Allah. Now, the, the question which is the 11th question that he's asking the sheikh, we to know and we all to understand it is, Halillahu ma'ana? Is Allah with us? Very important question. Very important question. The sheikh gave an answer saying, Allahu ma'ana bisam'ihi wa ru'yatihi وَعِلْمِهِ قَالَ تَعَالَى وَلَا تَخَافْ وَلَا تَخَافَ إِنَّنِي مَعَكُمَا أَسْمَعُ وَأَرَى This is when he was talking to Musa and Harun عليه الصلاة والسلام He said to them وَلَا تَخَافَ You should not fear nothing you should not fear nothing. I am a being 
In many, I am. He's teaching them who who he is. He's telling them about himself. In many, ma'akuma. He's saying, I am with you. How? Asma wa ara. He said, I hear and I see. Asma wa ara. I hear and I see, so the, you don't have to afraid anything. The whole power, the powerhouse is with you. The powerhouse is with you, and I am with you, and I see what's going on, and I, and I know what's going on, and also I, I hear everything. And Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, about this ru'ya, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in, in Sahih al-Muslim, he said, إِنَّكُمْ تَدْعُونَ سَمِيعًا قَرِيبًا وَهُوَ مَعَكُمْ أي بعلمه Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says إِنَّكُمْ O oh you people You are تَدْعُونَ You are calling He saw this is how he said Some people were shouting and, and calling with big voice, with, I mean, like, with loud, they were, they were trying to, to make dua loudly and loudly. Then Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to them, إِنَّكُمْ تَدْعُونَ You are calling and making dua to someone who is Samir, who is a hearer. He have that power of hearing. Even, and he's also near to you. You calling someone who is near to you and who can hear, even it says Allah can hear and see. Ibn Hajar Rahmatullah Ali, he said he can see on the dark nights on a black stone. A black ant, imagine, it's a dark night, it's a black stone on that dark night, and there is a black, a black ant moving on the top of that, 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 that sky, on the top of that sky, on the top of that, that, uh, that on the top of that, uh, you see uh, a stone. He said, he said, you are, and he knows, Allah knows what that ant is all about, and what that, what that ant is doing, and what that ant is about to do. So this is how, this is how, this is how Allah can see and he also said, he also said, in another ayah, Allah says, uh, I am near to you. So Allah can see everything, my dear brothers. And Allah can see us, and he will be with us by seeing us, whatever by we're doing, and by looking at us whatever we're doing and by having a knowledge and knowing about us whatever we're doing so he's he's very فَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي he said if my slave will ask you about me if my slave will you will ask you about me فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ I'm very near to him this is who Allah is. He's near to us. If we call him, if we call on him, he's just there for us. فَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي If my slave will ask you about me, فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ I'm here. I'm nearby. أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِي إِذَا دَعَانِ I will answer the call of the of the da'i, the call of the caller. I will ask him, 
But what Allah wants from us, my dear brothers, look at this. We always making dua, but we didn't ask ourselves, do we ask ourselves, are we doing our portion that Allah is asking us? فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُولِي, he said. Okay, I will be near to you, and I will be listening to you. I will be listening to you, and I will be doing what you want me to do for you. I will, I will answer your call. But I want you in return, you also to answer my call. And فَلْيَسْتَجِبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي And let them also answer my call. What is the call of Allah? Allah is calling us towards the Jannah. إِنَّ اللَّهَ اللَّهُ يَدْعُوا إِلَى الدَّارِ السَّلَامِ He's calling us to Jannah. Wallahi! He don't call us for something else. He just want us to go to Jannah. Allah is calling us to Darus Salaam. But what is the condition of this Darus Salaam? The condition is, my dear brothers, by knowing that Allah is watching on us, by knowing that Allah is listening to us, by knowing that Allah is looking at us, that we respect and we do what Allah wants us to do. And we do what Allah wants us to do. And we respect and answer the call of Allah. So this is the Quran. In Quran, Allah spoke to us, my dear brothers. And without the knowledge of what Allah is calling us for, we cannot we cannot answer Allah. So we need a knowledge. We need to know what is Allah, what is it that Allah wants from me at this moment, at this time. This is the questions that we have to ask ourselves. What is it that Allah wants from me now, on this time? So every second of our life, my dear brothers and sisters and, and youngsters, Every second of our life is, is very, very crucial because it is, it is our rasamal, it's about assets that Allah have given us. The time is given to us as to use it as an asset. So when we know Allah is with us, my dear brothers, when we know Allah can hear us, my dear brothers, when we know that Allah can, can can see us when we know that Allah knows what we're doing what is it what kind of consciousness we have what kind of awareness do we have how should we how we are behaving with Allah how are we behaving with Allah this is a very important question that we every one of an each and every one of us should ask how we dealing with Allah the one who is seeing us the one who knows us what we're doing the one who is going to be tomorrow in the day of judgment give us all our accounts that we will render all our accounts as he said فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَهُ وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًا يَرَهُ Whosoever does any atom of deed of good, he will see it that day. My dear brothers, we are, we are monitored 24-7 as we always say. We just have to remind each other. We just try to put, to, to hammer down this to ourselves and say, yes, Allah is watching me, what I am doing. Yes, Allah is watching me and Allah knows what I'm doing, what I am doing. This is very important and this is exactly why Allah is with us so that he can help us when we do good and then punish us when we do bad. Inshallah, after a break, I will be back and continue this question and answer, inshallah. La ilaha illallah, la ma'bood illahu, Muhammadur Rasuluhu. La ilaha illallah, 
لا معبود الا هو محمد رسوله بسمك اللهم ربي لا اله الا الله الله يا غافر الذنب لا اله الا الله انت يا قابل التوب لا اله الا الله اصلح لنا كل كرب ما ليس لنا سواه محمد رسول الحمد لله رب العالمين my my dear sisters and and youngsters we we just come to the term we just have to come to the term that this aqida will give us that understanding of we that we have to be aware of allah that we have to be having a knowledge about allah that we have to do all what allah want us want us to do i ask allah to make us from those who really alladhina yastami'una alqawla wa yattabi'una alahsan from those who are listening to the word of allah and follow the good of it and follow the good of it so now in this second and this uh, second question of today's lesson we are going to see at ما هي فائدة التوحيد؟ What is it the the faida? What is the benefit of tawhid? What is that we going to benefit from tawhid? The question is, what are we going to benefit from tawhid? The answer is here. The Sheikh says, فائدة التوحيد هي الأمن في الآخرة من العذاب. والهدايه في الدنيا the faida the benefits of tawhid or understanding the oneness of allah the faida and the benefits of understanding the oneness of allah is that we will have peace am security هي الامن في الاخره security in the akhirah by following tawhid by listening by understanding tawhid and practicing tawhid we are going to get security in the akhirah min al adab we will get security from in akhirah from the punishment and also we will get guidance fit dunya because we following the right path because we doing the right thing because we know the right allah and we worshiping the right allah and we are not trying to associate anyone with allah and we we are we are doing our ahd with allah we doing our 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 amana with allah and everything only with allah with his tawhid we are going because of that we will do we will do the the best job which is to secure ourselves from the punishment of allah and to get that guidance and f- guidance means the right path following the right path for this dunya and going to the right path in this to- in this dunya wa takfiru dunub and also the all our sins will be will be will be forgiven takfiru dunub and will our sins will be forgiven expiated and wiped out our sin will be wiped out qala allah ta'ala allah says in the quran and this is the ayah that proves about having a tawhid a right tawhid and going with the route of tawhid and not going with the sects who who deviated who strayed from the right path by giving names to allah by 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 changing the names of allah by 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 denying some names of allah by interpreting in the wrong way about allah in allah istawa 
when he said istawa, they say stola. They changed the name and they changed. They say Allah is a power. No, my dear brothers, the right tawhid is the right tawhid that will save us and secure us from from the hellfire and from the punishment of Allah, and and also will give us the right guidance, and also we will uh, and expite and our forgiveness from all the dhulub. قال الله تعالى الذين آمنوا ولم يلبسوا إيمانهم بظلم أولئك لهم الأمن وهم مهتدون. When this ayah was revealed, actually this ayah, Ibn Kathir رضي الله رحمة الله عليه said, Ibn Kathir he said, أي هؤلاء الذين أخلصوا العبادة لله وحده ولم يشرك به شيئا. This these people, Alladina, Amanu Walam Yalbisu, Allah said, Imanuhum, who are they? He said, They are Haulai Alladina Akhlasu, Ibadat Ibadat Allahi. They are the one who sincerely, sincerely uh, made it pure, Wahdahu, the Ibadah only for himself, Walam Yushruk Bi Shayan, and they never make any association. Any partner to it, humul aminuna yom al qiyamah. They are the one who is going to get security in the day of judgment. Wal muhtaduna fi dunya wal akhira, and they will be guided. They will be guided, and they will have a guidance in the dunya and akhira. And also Ibn Mas'ud rahmatullahi alayhi he said, "Lama nazzalat hadhi al aya." قالوا فأينا لم لم يظلم نفسه؟ They ask a question. Ibn Mas'ud says when this ayah came down, then the Sahaba they ask a question and they say فأينا who or which one of us would not would not would not make a mistake to himself? Would not make a dhulm to himself. Which one of us, Ya Rasulullah? Said they're so scared about this. What they told the dhulm have a meaning of everything. But Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, "Qala alayhi salam." Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam answered, "In the shirk, dhulm an azim, luqman." So Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, "Fa'ayuna lam yadlimu nafsahu." قال عليه السلام إن الشرك لا ظلم عظيم. That means it is not the shirk is not the any kind of ظلم but is the shirk and that's also what عمر بن خطاب رضي الله تعالى عنه وساقه البخاري بسنده فقال حدثنا عمر بن حفص حدثنا أبي أبي حدثنا أعمش حدثني إبراهيم عن عن علق علق ماها عن عبد الله رضي الله تعالى عنه قال لما نزلت الذين آمنوا ولم يلبسوا إيمانهم بظلم قلنا يا رسول الله أينا لا يظلم نفسه قال ليس كما تقولون he said it is not as that what you saying as you saying لم يلبسوا إيمانهم بظلم بشرك those who doesn't Make zulm, their iman is those who are making shirk, those who doesn't make shirk. So that means it's talking about shirk. Awalam tasma'u, didn't you hear? Ila qawlul luqman, the word of the luqman, li abihi, for his father, when, for, for his son, for his son, li ibnihi, li ibnihi, for his son, يا بني لا تشرك بالله إن الشرك لظلم عظيم هذا حديث في الصحيح والمس والمستدرك وغيرهما. and this is the answer. this is what means my dear brothers. that means those who doesn't make no shirk at all, insha Allah they will be secured. they will be secured from the punishment of the hereafter. And also, they will be guided, and they will be guided uh, in this worldly life. 
and they will be guided in this worldly life. And Rasulullah also said, Haqqul ibadi ala Allahi alla yu'adhibu man la yushriku bih shay'an. Mutafaqun alayhi. And this is also the fadail, the greatest fadl that we can get from, from my dear brothers, from shirk, the greatest, uh, from tawheed, the greatest fadl, when the greatest, you know, uh, favor or, or privilege that we can get is haqqul ibadi, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the haqq of a ibad, the right of a of slave, Allah, on his Allah, Allah yu'adhibu, is that he, so he doesn't punish man la yushruk bihi shay'an. He doesn't punish the one who doesn't make no shirk at all. The one who doesn't make shirk at all, that is the right of a slave. That's what Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says. The right of a slave is that Allah would not punish the one who doesn't make shirk with Allah. So the fadail of this, uh, my dear brother Tawheed, is a lot. <laughs> there is a lot of fadail. And he said one, قال المصنف رحمة الله تعالى وعن عبادة بن سامت رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من شهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن محمدا عبده ورسوله وأن عيسى عبد الله ورسوله وكلمته ألقاها إلى مريم وروح منه والجنة الحق والنار حق أدخله الله الجنة على ما كان من العمل أخرجاه بخاري والمسلم. This is very very encouraging hadith my my dear brothers for for توحيد. It is said that رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم said من شهد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له. The one who who testify that there is none worthy of worship except Allah. Except Allah alone, la sharika lahu, he have no associates and partners. Wa anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh, and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave and messenger. Wa anna Isa abdullahi wa rasuluh, and that Isa alayhi salatu wa sallam is also the slave and a messenger of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa kalimatuhu alqaha ila Maryama, and that his word, Allah's word, was being put on Maryam, on Maryam alayhi salam, wa ruhun minhu, and that Allah, that Isa is a ruhullah, is a ruh from him, from Allah. That Isa is a part of Allah, is a ruh from Allah. Waljannatu haqqun, and that Jannah is, is true, is a reality, is confirmed. The Jannah is haqq, wal-narul haqq, and nar also is confirmed and true and reality. أدخله الله الجنة. He will put him in the جنة على ما كان من العمل. How whatever عمل that he did, it doesn't matter. Regardless, regardless of all the عمل he does, he did. This person, if he testify these testifications and he have this توحيد in himself على ما كان من العمل, whatever عمل that he have. He will be put in the Jannah, and this hadith is narrated by Bukhari and Muslim. And we ask Allah to make us to understand, and we ask Allah to make us from those aladina yism aladina yistamiun al qaula wa yittabiun al ahsana from those who will listen the qaul and follow the right of it. Allahumma inna nasaluk ilman nafi'an wa rizqan wasi'an. وعملا متقبلا وشفاء من كل داء سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين لا إله إلا الله لا معبود إلا هو محمد رسوله لا إله إلا الله
لا معبود الا هو محمد رسوله بسمك اللهم ربي لا اله الا الله الله يا غافر الذنب لا اله الا الله انت يا قابل التوبه لا اله